تشابتر 56 باب لا يسأل بوجه الله إلا الجنة Nothing but Jannah should be asked for by Allah's face Jabir رضي الله عنه narrated that Allah's messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا يسأل بوجه الله إلا الجنة Nothing except Jannah paradise should be asked for by Allah's face reported by Abu Dawood meaning that if you use uh, in, in your dua Allah's face Allah, do not ask by the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything but Jannah why? this is uh, the way of exalting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, it is the most precious need that a believer wants to ask for is to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment for the believers to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the highest level of reward there is no more reward and more joy for the people of Jannah than seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so as a result of that this is the highest level this is the most rewardable thing right as a result of that even a person should not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his face for anything other than Jannah which is the highest thing to be asked not to ask about matters of dunya asking making dua by Allah's face that a person will get money or this this is all low things but for Jannah for the people to enter Jannah this is permissible as the Prophet ﷺ said why because when they enter Jannah they will get to see uh, the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them uh, and this is of course it shows the respect that a Muslim has to the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and, and, and Jannah to enter Jannah it's it's as a result of having this Tawheed in the heart and the perfection in the heart. And the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we believe in it. And nothing is the like of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we do not resemble it to the attributes of the human being. Uh, so this states the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a face that fits His Majesty subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, nothing resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to uh, believe in it. And so, tfadda. Uh, Allah, I ask you by your face uh, for such and such. So the only way that is permissible, you say, Allah, I ask you by This is permissible. To say, Allah, I ask you by your face that I would enter Jannah. No. Can you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his face to protect us from the fire? Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said لا يسأل بوجه الله إلا الجنة that you should not ask by the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything but Jannah even if it means that for the person to be saved from the hellfire that means he would enter Jannah uh, sometimes people they get to, to the Jannah after they get to the hellfire right yeah so here we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the hellfire and this and no, a person should stay like what the hadith says. To ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Jannah and not to be punished by the hellfire. To enter Jannah from the first instance. But to keep it as the Prophet ﷺ said, do not ask, even if it refers to that if, of course, if, you, if a person is protected from the hellfire, that means he would enter Jannah, still he should stay like what the Prophet ﷺ said. Uh, he says here that it's permissible to ask Jannah and to ask for the things that would lead you to Jannah by the face of Allah, right? It is a permissible thing, right? Because anything that leads to Jannah, one of which is even to be protected from the fire. But definitely it's the best to keep it as the Prophet ﷺ said, to ask Jannah only.